Episode 11, back once again with the ill behaviour. Hello and welcome to the Tactics Board, it's been a few weeks, uh, sorry about the delay. We're going to today look at four chances that Down had in the left corner against Derry in their championship match there in Ulster, up in Celtic Park. So first off, a quick few expla explainers for those of you new to the show. Um, we don't have that many different colours of uh, chips here, so for the purpose of this, down are actually in blue, so sorry for all my down people up there, but you did win the game, so let's not get too upset, okay? So we're going to first off look at a move in the 8th minute. And <clears throat> so you could Benny Coulter getting the ball here on the 21. Now at the moment, Derry have a numerical advantage. One of the things I noticed was Derry could have playing an extra man in defence. Just a quick note, this is actually 19, not 9. Again, numbers. But the numbers are actually important for Derry much more than down in the four sequences we're going through. So Cooler gets the ball, and Derry, like I said, had a numerical advantage, but this is one of the times Down managed to break that cover down. So Coulter goes inside, leaving three and six here in his wake, leaving two defenders in his wake. What's Coulter do uh, as he's getting towards the goal, because he has got a bit of a, a, a cover coming through, sorry, not from, not from these guys. Cornerback's coming into him, which leaves Nama dying open for the punch. Now this also gives a chance for Donald Hare to get open on the outside, so we've got the extra Derry defender basically caught between two guys. Coulter has two options. Gets it to Medine, fists wide open for the goal, goes over. That's unfortunate. Like he did what he was right to do, got the score out of it. But really, this was one of the rare moments in the first half where Derry's cover broke down. Really had no choice here, cornerback, to go in, try and take out Coulter, but this left down with a huge advantage. Two wide open options here. Again, defender caught between two options. Great move by Down, unlucky not to finish with a goal. Now we're going to move on to a move where Derry managed to get their cover together which was on the, in the uh, 17th minute. In fact, Dan didn't get a, sh a shot off. So we're just going to have our terrible editing and look at that. Okay, sorry about our editing being awful, by the way. So now we're going to look at the move which Conor Lavery started, which didn't end in a shot. Lavery's going to cut inside here, and this is going to drag defender with him. Now, the problem here is, I watched the replay several times, still I'm not sure which down player got the ball, but the key part is what happened when he got the ball. Ball goes out, decides to keep advancing in, Two defenders move towards him, eventually they dispossess, and the third defender is around him. There is an option out here in down low hair, but essentially, by being surrounded, there's no real option to get there. Gets dispossessed, down, Derry win the free out. So, the left corner, like down we're seeing, it was an option to move inside. And as you can see from the first two plays here, it wasn't the same player as missing assignments each time. And that's going to continue to be the case when we look at the second half chances now. Okay, now we're going to look at Mark Poland's goal, which came, of course, in 52 minutes. Dan already found the net already, and we're, we're ahead at this point. It starts off with a turnover here caused by Connor Laverty near midfield. Now, Laverty's going to advance up here, drawing off cover from Donal O'Hare. O'Hare's going to take the ball in 21. This, again, draws cover off. O'Hare's going to go down inside the 13, bringing the cover with him. At this point, Mark Poland is getting increasingly open. At the last minute man commits away from Niall Madai, but again you can see down have that numerical advantage, ball gets fit to, fit to Poland and the finish. Again this wasn't really a defensive lap as a straight up turnover, but for the turnover Derry probably would have had that numerical situation. Lavery showed great awareness to force it, bring the play up here, again they work the left, and again it wasn't a case of particular men just being killed on the day, it was down recognising there's an avenue here they can exploit, use Laverty, got a toe here, into Poland and the finish. Okay, finally we're going to look at the chance that Donal O'Hare had on 61 minutes. Now, two numbers to point, watch out for here. Number 90 for Derry is again 19, like in the first half. Number 8 for Down, number 18. That's substitute, and again, we don't have sub numbers, unfortunately. So let's begin here with Niall Madine. Madine's going to feed the ball to Ryan Mallon in here. And Mallon, where's he going to go? Straight towards the left. Now, he's going to bring cover with him. Number 9, try and follow him down there. But this will also leave space open for O'Hare to advance. Now, centre-back Kilt will try and come in here and block him down. This will, however, leave space going. Other half-back may have the option to go up to O'Hare, but he's got to follow the substitute here. It keeps going this way. So this means O'Hare has an open situation, even though Derry have the numerical advantage. Mallon to O'Hare hits the post. Again, well-worked move. And again, you'll notice it's not the same guys being exploited every time. And I suppose that was the reason we're doing this video today. When I was watching the game yesterday, I kept on going, that left corner for Derry is something down or targeting. Is it a player or is it situational? 
Having looked here, you've seen different players are being taken out each time, so it was very much situational. James McCartan saw room he could do. Obviously, having a player like Conor Laverty on his side does help that fact, and likewise, Mama Dine was quite useful as well, although in, in multiple roles as a beginner and a finisher, in, in, as we saw in these, in these games. So it really was about Dan's attack realising that this was a side of the field, a particular area, that, that left corner, that they could really build from the, getting in there and then cutting it back for the open man, realising that Derry would overcommit. That was the one thing we have seen. Derry basically situations where they have to commit to the man in possession. They, Dan are expecting that and they played off it. And that's why they created those chances. Now, the Derry stop wasn't even being a chance was a good result in that perspective. But Dan still managed to get 1-1 one, one from the three chances they did create. So that's a good return. And yeah, great job by Dan on that. And as always, if you want to subscribe to our videos, and apologies for the flag in my throat today, just click on my face in the corner. But for now, for the tactics board, I've been Emma Ryan.